Hey everybody and welcome back to EM Transport Radio. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the pediatric resuscitation book I created in 2010. Now I haven't opened this freely to the market just yet because I wanted to have it based on the class I have in October 19th, 2014, which is going to be at the EMS Expo in Valencia. And what we're going to go over is how to treat pediatric patients. And one of the major critical things is weight-based calculations. And that, that's something that stumps everybody. But what they're doing in hospitals is they're moving away from that. They actually have pediatric books. They use Proslos. They use uh, equipment, uh, equipment and tools to help make that not a factor. You shouldn't have to be thinking about dosage-based calculations. It should already be pre-filled syringes and pre-filled, pre-calculated uh, uh, dosages that should be laid out before you because you have more pressing things to think about. So on your left of your screen, you're actually going to see me, Charlie Alvarenga, and to the right is the pediatric recess book. I put, it, I put mine in a white little binder. You guys can put yours in whatever you like. I'm going to have you guys customize it the way you want. I'm just going to show you how I set it up and how it should be used. So, in hospitals, we, we just got done talking about it. What do they actually have? They actually have these pediatric bags that are set up to color coordinate with the Braslow tape. And also pediatric carts, these crash carts that are set up so that you don't have to do any thinking at all. Everything's already there and set for you. But we really don't have that in EMS or in the pre-hospital profession for most ambulance companies or most uh, flight companies even unless you're specialized. Most of us just have Braslow tapes. And that's what this is all based on. So what you're gonna actually use in conjunction with this Braslow tape is the pediatric recess book. It's gonna act, actually act as an extension of the pediatric Braslow tape because what you're gonna do is you're gonna acclimate it to you as a provider or to your company as, as an entire a pre-hospital provider. So all of your company's medications, procedures, etc. And that's what I actually I did with mine. So I'm going to go over and show you how it should look, how it works, and what you guys can do to change it if you guys wanted to change it uh, when, when, I, when I release this to the public. So what I did is it's going to always be two sheets of paper uh, and it's going to be, uh, so when you open it up it looks just like a book. Okay, and each sheet of paper is gonna s s represent one weight. So let, let's go to this one. This is just a representation. On the top, it says pediatric resuscitation. The Braslow color is orange, and you'll actually see later that when I get these printed out, the paper is orange underneath it, just so I have that better representation. The weight is 24 kilograms. The age is 7.3 to 7.7 years old. And now, how did I get those weights when I actually did this? Well, I got it from going to, uh, I believe I went to the CDC and actually got the average weights for all pediatric uh, patients within, I, I think, a 50 percentile of the 2010 year. And then I also got the average heights for everybody. And ju just so everything could just be blanketed average. And, and if I had any defaults, it just went back to the regular Braslow standards. And then I went to emergency medication. So if you go down, down the list, you'll see cardiac drugs, respiratory drugs. Now on the left-hand side, it says the medication, its concentration. So you see the first two, we got 1 to 10, and then 1 to 1 epinephrine. The dose that is recommended, and it doesn't specify what for, just the recommended dose. And then the dose that you should give based on that weight-based calculation, based on the 24-kilogram patient, and then the volume that it should be in, if it's in that specific concentration. So what I actually did is split it up not only into dose, but into volume as well. So you don't actually think about dose. You just have to think, oh, I have to th uh, pull up 2.4 mLs of 1 to 10, or 2.4 of, uh, or, or of uh, uh, 0.8 of adenosine. So it, it really makes it that much easier when you have to pull it up. Now, down to the respiratory drugs, it does the same exact thing, and we actually see a pattern when we go to the other drugs, like the D12, the Depahydramine, the Narcan, and then we hit our narcotics. I also did uh, rectal Valium for all these, because it doesn't always have to go uh, through an IV. So the ones that are actually marked out here, you can see the other, on other drugs, D12 and D50, for a 24, seven-year-old, seven 
Uh, the the recommended is just to use D25. You can everybody knows how to make D25 or even D12 and a half. Um, so that, that's just a recommended dose from Pals that that I pulled. So this is how it should be set up. It's set up in the exact same way. Other drugs dose per kg, the dose that that it is, and then the volume. And then on the second page, it says the exact same thing. It's it's orange, the age, the weight, the height, and then we go to the emergency equipment that we actually have. B, what BVM should we use? The OPAs, the NPAs, the ET tubes. Should we use a stylet if we need to? What size LMA Supreme that we had that we just got onto the rigs that protect all the way down to the neonatal level? Uh, what and what EZIO? Now a lot of these things might be the same on most of them, so you're really never going to use an adult EZIO. So the, that's really going to be uh, blanketed throughout all of them but it's still something good to remember and at the very bottom is something I added a little extra and that's vital signs and they change for every range so for a seven-year-old 18 to 30 range for respirations heart rate once or 60 to 140 and a BP of uh, 115 to 38 and they, these are all ranges and a BGL of roughly higher than 60 now, remember that these are ranges pulled from a lot of different texts. If you, if you have different ones and your medical director thinks that those are good, go ahead and, and put them on there. If you think that you uh, have better ranges, I, I, I want you guys to update your guys' own personal uh, uses of these. So that's what the two pages look like. Now, I took some pictures of the, of the one that I actually have, and this is the first page. Don't panic. Because that's something that we commonly do, and that's something that we shouldn't do. So I got it from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Don't panic right when you read this. And I've actually had to, I've broken out this book on a lot of pediatric calls, and it saved my butt a ton of times. So, like I said before, it's all weight based, and it should be used in conjunction with the Braslow tape. And you'll actually see down here to the right, if you guys can see my mouse, the gray goes from three to three to roughly five kilograms and then the pink is six to seven then we go up eight to nine and it actually follows this pattern throughout the entire book so here's the gray three four and five and then we go to pink and then you see how they're color coded then they go to red and you'll actually see the the black markings right here that they're just shaded in just so it's a little bit easier to read and they'll actually come up just like that on the um, on the website that I show you guys where you guys are gonna print this out and actually manipulate it and make it your own so it goes through blue orange green and you guys can put this in your own binder make it your own put in there whatever you want if you want to make it a critical care one I want you guys to do it but this is how you guys are gonna get it so you guys are gonna go here to EM transport radio and the website for that is going to be www.emtransportradio, all one word, dot squarespace.com. And we're actually trying to get rid of that Squarespace, but it, it, it takes a little bit. So here's what you're going to do, is you're going to go here, and this is the, the front of the website. You got info, the EM Transport Radio videos, so here are some educational videos. This is the podcast, where we host our podcast from Nate Gonzalez and Charlie Alvarenga. And then we have the EM Transport Podcast Radio Lectures. So if you click on Lectures and you go to the Pediatric Lecture right here, you will actually see, this, this is a little bit of a placeholder, but you're going to go to the Pediatric Recess Book, click on this, and then you'll see these buttons. So these buttons actually download them for you. So if you click on one of these buttons, and they, they have every single page in there, it's going to bring up a save as little file. If you click save as, this one's for the pink one, and then open it up, it'll be right there in your Microsoft Word. And then you guys can manipulate it however you would like to. If you guys want to keep it like this, keep it the same, feel free to do that. Uh, I also included at the very bottom over here is the resuscitation outline. So this one is actually going to be a entire outline, a blank one that you guys can use uh, just to make your own. So see how you just do all your own calculations, change up the medications, however you guys want to do it. Feel free to email us at emttransportradio at yahoo.com. 
if you guys go to this website you can actually click email right here and it'll email us and you guys can also reach us on iTunes